My dear friends, Pope Benedict said that a yearly liturgical cycle that we have is a way of spirituality for us. Because in the liturgical cycle, we have the key events of the life of Christ. We have events of the life of Mother Mary and the saints. Crumbs from Gerard. So how can we live our lives according to these events? I bring to you today two seasons, Lent and Advent. The first festival in the liturgical cycle given to us in the church was Easter. And then we had a 40 day period added on so that we can prepare for Easter. It's much later in 300 AD, a little later than that, when Christmas was added to the liturgical cycle. And then Advent, a period of preparation for Christmas. Someone has said, if you don't know where you want to go, you'll end up somewhere else. And so the church so beautifully in the liturgical cycle has given us Lent and Advent, kind of goals towards which we prepare our lives, seeing the end and now living our lives accordingly. So in Lent, Lent starts with Ash Wednesday and the priest says, remember your dust and to dust you will return. So being ready to meet Christ at the end of your life, and now live your life knowing that you will meet Christ at the end of your life. How will you be prepared for that moment? Advent gives us the two comings of Christ. One, the second coming. So not just at the moment of our death, but at the end of time. So preparing our lives knowing that we will meet him at the end of time. But Advent also gives us the first coming of Christ at Christmas, where we meet Christ every day, like in a manger, in simple places and simple persons. So, three goals for us to prepare for, meeting Christ at the end of time, meeting Christ at the end of our life, and meeting Christ daily in the simpleness of everyday life. Now, we live out our life. A question for you. If you were to meet Jesus today and you could ask him any one question about yourself, what would it be? And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son and Holy Spirit. Have a wonderful day with Jesus.